Hi, this is Technodrum. I'm kind of today I'm going to show you how to take off and solder components onto a circuit board, and I'm going to show you how to solder on wires. Okay, so before we start, let me just make a very important note. When you're soldering, your soldering machine tip has to be clean. If it's not clean, it will not work. You cannot do a good soldering when it's dirty. So to keep it clean, you just need a wet sponge. Just really not, uh, just, the wetness is just for not burning the sponge. So just enough for it not to burn, just rub it all over and then that will clean it. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a wire cutter, solder, pliers, something to work on, a solder pump, tweezers, but these tweezers are a bit different than normal tweezers. The tips are bent in. I guess you can make it yourself, but I just picked it up from the store. You can hold components from the sides and pull it. So it's not, you have a lot more grip. Flukes, and I'll, you, you'll probably need a vise. It's easier to do it with a vise. And the fan would be helpful because the smoke of the solder is really bad for you. And so you directly don't breathe it as much as you would. So what I usually do is just leave a window open so it just like blows it towards the window so I don't get as much smoke. Okay, so let me start on how to take out a component. So just get your soldering board and what you're going to work on and just basically hold it in so it doesn't move too much. Okay. Um, so first you're going to want to do is get your soldering pump. Let's say I want to take this uh, chip out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to warm it up, suck the solder. Warm it up, suck the solder. So I'm going to do this for all the legs. Now, when you're doing this, you have to be careful that you take off, you take all the solder off or also still hold it. So some holes you may have to do it like two times. So just, so if it doesn't come out, that's really normal. You don't really get all the solder out with one go. And when you're soldering, when you're actually soldering, you make sure to not uh, give too much solder or else you'll mess up the board or leak all over the place and it'll just be a mess. Okay, so once you get all of them, just make sure that you got all the solder off. Seems good. Now just basically get your tweezers or your pliers and just, it would be a bit hard, but just pull it out. You just need a little force. Don't be afraid to give that little force. It won't break. So that's how you take it out. Now how to put it, solder it in. You put these holes. Okay, now, soldering it in is a bit more hard. So now what you're gonna need to do is get flukes. It's, this flukes basically cleans the surface and the solder will stick easier, so better connection, better soldering better circuit board. So just basically squirt it on where you want it, where you want to solder. Get your soldering uh, wire, hold it on for a second, give it, take it off after a second. So hold it, take it off, like that. Make sure to not give too much solder or else like the legs will stick together like this and when that happens you can use your soldering pump to get the extra solder out and you can just retry. So actually a lot of people don't notice but the solder good is really hard. You have to have a lot of experience. Because soldering is not the easiest thing to do. Um, you have to give the amounts right. If you give too much solder it won't work. If you give little little solder it won't work. So you have so you shouldn't give a lot of solder. Let me just zoom in and show you how much solder you should put in. So look, you should only put in that much solder. More than that is not good. Less than that is not good. So around that. So now it's done. Now it's on there for good. It's good. Um, so now how to solder on a wire. So first what you want to do is just cut off the dirty end with solder and everything on it. Just take off the plastic. Twist the end a bit. Get to one where you want to solder. Flukes would be better when you're doing this as well. <coughs> Where's the wire? 
it already has uh, solder on there, so I'm just gonna basically. And after you solder something, if you blow on it, it will dry better and it will be more strong. <coughs> so, that's how to solder, do a takeoff component with a soldering pump. If you don't have a soldering pump, it's a bit harder. So what you want to do is, put your circuit board sideways. Wait, let me turn this so you can see both sides. Yes. So, what 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 you what you want to do is get your pliers, pull on the component that you want to take out, and just uh, heat the ends up where it's the solder end will come out. When there's a lot of legs, like on this chip, you can't really do it without a solder pump. And solder pumps are really not that expensive; they're very cheap. Mine was just like three dollars or something. So. It's not a big deal to get that, and you probably already have a vice, because it's really hard to do it without a vice too. So that's pretty much it, it's really simple, but remember, when you're soldering, make sure to not do short circuits, because it can be a very problem soldering, it can like overflow and everything, like you, like you can see here, I, can, I caught my own mistake. See how the two metals are touching each other, the solder overflowed? I put too much solder there. So. Yeah, be careful of those. Be careful to not overheat the solder or else you may damage your component as well. So that's about it. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and rate. Thank you for watching me.